was with her. Did you try? I tried. Who stopped you? The mother. I even spoke to the father. Did you ever talk about getting Jesse help for, say, a doctor or any kind of medical help? Yes, when I went to the father. Okay. And you convinced him to call the doctor, correct? At first, he was he didn't want to get, go against the mother. And then, I guess, um, Jason was getting worse. That's when he agreed. I object, Your Honor. She's implying that my client advised against her getting medical attention for her own child, but yet my client got medical attention for her child as well as her own. How long after was this that medical attention was first sought? At what stage in this was medical attention sought, and how often was it denied beforehand? She didn't get medical attention until it was too late. And you can imagine. The doctor said there was nothing he could do. I object, Your Honor. There was no doctor ever called into account for her daughter whatsoever. Yes, yes it was. Yes, there was. Where let, do you get your evidence? Because I didn't look at the evidence that I've shown. Let the record show that there actually has been a doctor, a Dr. Stevenson Smith, that had did come out 24 hours prior to the death that there was one called up. Also let the record show that the mother is on record stating that she had denied medical attention because she felt that a divine intervention would come in and help out, but later understood that a doctor was needed. Okay, so when the parents finally noted that they could not get her to eat or to drink. Did they finally allow you to go see Jesse? The father did. They did. And yeah. what happened while you were there? I comforted her. I laid by her side. I let the um, song or song or read a poem or something to her till she fell asleep and then she, she, never, got back she never woke up. <laughs> So you can say that you cared for this child just about as if she and was your own. Yes, I did. Along with the older daughter who is now in, away at college. Yes. These children were always they, around. They you came. always cared for them. Yes. I, I Objection, think. Your Honor. I don't see the relevance in this line of questioning, considering this woman is on trial for manslaughter of a Caucasian young lady. The relevance is... Why I'm going to sustain that child. because we're diverting away from the actual point of what we're talking about. We've that already established that she did care for these children. My point across is the fact that she is a caring woman, not mm -hmm. a... But let's stick on the point of what the events were leading up to the death, whether or not she indeed did have a direct result in care for her or not prior to her death. We've already established the outside facts. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. But I did not take her to get an abortion. Then I have proven my right. point exactly because she was not there. Order in the courtroom. Let's wrap this up. Can I say? <laughs> Please finish up. <laughs> I was not there. I didn't take her to get an abortion. Why am I on trial for caring and loving these kids as my own? You are being put on trial as an accessory to murder. To be an accessory, you have to be there. The question is, is that whether or not they are trying to prove that in that very room, in those very last 24 to 48 hours, if you played a part but in, in the last this lady's death. But in the last 24 hours in the room, that is not where she got sick. I object, Your Honor. This I am not the one on trial here, okay? But in the last 24 hours, that is not where she got sick. Order in the courtroom right now. Would the defense and the prosecution please step forward, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Witness, you may step down. She did not be sick. And how she got fit with mother in her head. <laughs> <laughs> on the track, off the track, on the track, off the track. I don't know. She cared for another one. She was in her last hours. Now, you guys, hopefully, we can wrap this up. Prove without a shadow of a doubt whether she did or did not aid in her death, whether or not her was involved with medical attention or was not. That's what I want to stick to. Yeah, so that's what, what we're basically trying to prove is that by having a so an African American witness in the room of a Caucasian while I don't deny that there has to be some foul play. While I don't deny that maybe race might have been a slight issue, I don't think that was the underlying cause of this. Because there's also a good side of my mind. I mean, no, I'm right. That she was not caring for her. The mother would not allow her to care for her and she came back from the trip. So that last 24 to 48 hours, that is the that's the what's in the question. Okay, let's wrap this up. Ladies and gentlemen, back to your side. Let's wrap this up. Yeah. 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 Jury, judge, I'm going to go ahead and make these closing statements.
statements. And I want you to pay attention to what was brought forth. What we have here is two different witnesses that our client has hired us to find an answer to why her 18-year-old child is now dead. Considering we que questioned both of these people, neither one of them gave a truthful, honest, or credible answer in regards to any of this. I object. How are you going to say that my client's alive? What are your my closing statements? These are closing statements. These are not objectionable. 